Hey everyone, so the Ganyu banner just now got revealed. Uh, so if you're asking me if you should summon on this banner, the answer is, well, do you have most of these characters? And that's usually what I say for most banners is the four star, four star characters is if you have most of them with like constellation threes and fours, then I'd say you probably want to skip. You probably want to save your primo gems for the most valuable banners or four star characters that come out with the brand new banner unit. Just like example, Diona, who came out with Child, and so on and so forth. Um, but in terms of value, overall value, I have not used Ganyu yet. Um, but Zing-Q, obviously, the water boy over here, he's very, very, very good. We have Noel, who is also really, really good if she's completely optimized and built. And then we have Jangling here, who is also a very good elemental reactionist and a pyro reactionist. And that's basically going to do it for this banner. So we also have the brand new weapon banner with the Amos Bow and the Skyward Pride rate up. And then we also have Sacrificial Sword. I think this is Eye of Perception. Um, I believe this is Sacrificial Bow. And then I think this is Dragon's Bane or whatever the thing is called. Basically, it's just Jangling's weapon with the Elemental Mastery. And then we have the Bell here. Um, so this is a pretty good actual weapon banner. I'm really, really surprised. So yeah, so here we go. Dragon's Bane, Eye of Perception, Favonius Warbow. We have the Bell and Sacrificial Sword. Um, obviously, this is a really good four stars. I think the best one here is probably Sacrificial Sword. Eye of Perception is also really, really good. Favonius is really good as well. And then Dragon's Bane is basically just Jangling's weapon. Um, but the Amos Bow and the Skyward Pride are also very, very, very good. The Amos Bow is also a really, really good top tier second option for Child. Um, so if you have Child and you pull the Amos Bow, really recommend using this one. Now, obviously, Skyward Harp is Child's best bow. But if you get this bow, it's not like you're, it's the end of the world because it does give that attack percentage with the high base attack that it gets from naturally being a 5-star. You're not going to have as high crit rate, of course. But if you get your artifacts set up per, the nice way and you get around 50% or higher, you should be perfectly fine with the Amos bow. Uh, but obviously, Skyward Harp is Child's best bow. So the Skyward Pride is really, really good. Um, I believe it is an energy recharge claymore. Uh, so there isn't really any character who could really use energy recharge. Most, most claymore users really kind of want to look for that attack percentage, crit rate, crit damage, stuff like that. Um, but when the character comes out with the Skyward Pride for the Claymore, uh, it'll probably be really, really good with them, of course. But I, I think it's just a good sword overall to have on your character. Uh, but obviously it's not, you know, Wolf's Gravestone or anything like that. But it is still a very good 5-star Claymore option. And that's going to do it for the Weapon Banner. So now that we looked over both banners, I would recommend summoning on this Ganyu Banner if you do not have every character here. Or if you really like Ganyu, then go for it. I have nothing to say. Summon whoever you want to summon for. Don't listen to anyone just saying, oh, they're mid-tier trash. If you really like the character, then go for it. That's all that matters in this game, really. If you really care about optimization and how fast you can beat, beat Spiral Abyss, that's a whole nother new topic. Uh, but I really recommend for players to just enjoy the game, how they enjoy it. Go on their daily commissions, kill enemies, do a ton of damage, and use their favorite characters. Which, obviously, if Ganyu is one of your favorite characters then go for it, you know? And also, Ganyu and Zinq's test run is coming out, and I cannot wait to use Ganyu. I'm really excited to see how her kit plays through, and I'm excited to see what kind of damage she can put up, and if she's a support. I'm pretty sure she's going to be a support character, um, but Ganyu obviously being Ice, Ice is in a really good spot, uh, so we'll see on how good she is. But I think that's going to do it for today's video. So as I said, Weapon Banner is really, really good. The Amaspo and the Skyward Pride are really good. And obviously the four-star options with the Bell and the Dragon's Bane and the Eye of Perception. They're, every four-star weapon here is good. The five-star weapons are good. The banner is pretty decent. Um, Noel, obviously, people love Noel. You either love Noel or you hate Noel. Um, I personally don't use Noel. However, if I ever were to get her Constellation 6, you can bet your ass I will make a video on her. Zin-Q, as I said, Zin-Q is a very, very good elemental reactionist. Really good with his ultimate and then obviously Zhang Ling is really, really good for ele elemental reaction as well. I think that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know you guys think of Ganyu down in the comment section below. Thank you everyone for watching. We're closing in on 100 subscribers. We're about six more away by the time of this recording. Uh, so make sure you subscribe if you guys want to see some more content. And have a good day. Goodbye.